Hello friends, what the difference they make? Here in North Carolina, the crazy weather state, we went from 75 degrees yesterday to 32 degrees today, so... Brrr. Right? Mm -hmm. Welcome to our channel. If this is the first time you're visiting with us, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. Today we have another first look video for you, and this is our second video for 2022. And usually on Wednesdays we do short videos, reviews, first looks, and tips and tricks, right? Mm -hmm. So today we're going to talk about a very useful tool and that is a handheld hand hand planer, right? Handheld planer. Hand hand planer. Say it five times quickly. <laughs> hand hand planer. And those of you who have been following the channel for some time know we do have a porter cable uh, planer. Well, this is not a, It's a joiner. Uh, it's a joiner. Mm -hmm. I always confuse those two. I don't know why. And this is a fantastic machine. We really enjoy having it. But sometimes. You need something that can go to the piece versus bringing the piece here, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you have a door and you want to plane it, we couldn't do it on this machine. I guess we could, but it would take all three of us. A very right. small door. <laughs> a very small door. <laughs> and uh, a piece that donated, uh, gifted the channel this year with this device, which uh, from the profile looks like a sander, but it's actually a planer, right? Mm -hmm. It is a when. And we are in general pleased with our WEN purchases, right? Yeah. We have several WEN purchases. They're all wired. They're, none of them are wireless, but... Cordless. Right, wireless. <laughs> cordless and wireless is the same thing. <laughs> well, wireless is usually electronics and cordless yeah. is the tools, right? I don't know. So anyway, so the, it is um, wired or corded. Mm -hmm. Since Alpida wants to make a distinction, a distinct. You want to make a sting out of it, so uh -huh. you want to distinct it. Yeah. And we're going to talk about this. The pluses of having this device is substantially cheaper than this device, right? Mm -hmm. Based on what you buy, you can definitely get one of these for below 50 bucks, mm -hmm. right? Where this will be 200 and more and above, right? Mm -hmm. Above and more is the same thing. Above and more. Above and more. Now, I've used this before, not this one. This is brand new. I've not used it before, but we had a hand planer before and I did use it to plane a door that we had. That needed mm -hmm. a little shortening, right? That's what planers are usually very good for. Yeah. And again, we couldn't have used that one for this purpose, even though we did have it. And we actually used it also to plane some bifold doors to make some doors in a in a closet opening that I had at my house. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. So there are many uses for this. And there are some neat things you can do with this that you cannot do with this actually. And one of them is if you look here, you see that in the front plate, it has two plates. Let's talk about that, right? This is the front plate, and the and back, the plate back plate actually moves, right? And it moves this button. All planets will have a button somewhere, and mm -hmm. this button rotates. That's a dial. Button, I say. <laughs> and I don't know if it is visible, but as I, as I move it, you can see the plate moving too. Can you see it or not? Yeah, and uh, we're talking about these little grooves, right? Mm -hmm. And what they use this puts a samphire, is that correctly pronounced, samphire, 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 it puts a samphire on a piece of wood, so let's say we were building with this, and we didn't want this uh, sharp edge there, mm -hmm. right, you put it right on this uh, groove, and as you go in, it's going to take, it will make that almost look like a 45, okay. does that make sense? Okay, yeah. And this is for a smaller, again, you see there are two yeah, depths. So there are two sides. So this is a very useful uh, function that we do not have on the big one. Mm -hmm. Now, <coughs> the difficulty with this is if you have something that it is wide, you have to do multiple passes, right? Or this one, it is one pass. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm comparing it to the totally wrong machine. Mm -hmm. It is 
not our joiner. This is a planer. <laughs> That's why I was calling planer, right? So this is comparable to a planer, not a joiner. So I screwed up, and I have no idea where a planer is. Oh, it's right there. This function. But the rest of the device, that's what it does. It actually just have to go one, two, three. That doesn't do it in one pass. It can only do one pass if it is as wide. Because of the, the right. size of the machine. Okay. But the comparable machine is that, not this. I, I screwed okay. up. Sorry, folks. On occasion, it happens. Too much eggnog. <laughs> so let's talk about this. As all our Wayne equipment, and this is the first look, I really like the feel and look of this machine, right? They have those nice, the nice bright buttons here. And here is the point I don't like. The, the depth that it cuts is listed right here, but it is very hard to see. I don't even know if the camera can see it or not. Because it is... Yeah. Once I zoom in, you can see it. Okay, so when you look at it, it's a little hard to see. So maybe that's a space where you want to put like some white out or something in it. Right, so to, to bring it up, numbers, right? Yeah. But it has very nice details. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll stop talking for a moment. Yeah. So it has very nice details that stops. Right. So that, that is a positive thing. And clearly you can see the button. This specific one has a very nice little uh, stored... Wrench. Cute little wrench. Really adorable, right? <laughs> and I don't know what the wrench is. I suspect it's to change the, the knives of the blades. But I don't know, right? The surface is very nice, very nice and clean. And this is a stop. The stop is used so you will not mar your surface. If you start your, let me show it to you. Here. You put it here. Because you will not be on a, on a metal like we're here. But for example, here if we're resting it, the blade will not be damaged because this is up. You might have to come here as I was to show it. it. We can see it. Right? We can see it. It's up. Okay. Right. But in order to operate, you need to... Okay. to move it right okay but this protects your surface and, and protects the machine okay and i don't know the technical term i call it a food usually i don't know what you want to call it food sounds good to me right soul plate something like that did you just drop your cute little wrench i did and it fell out very easily uh -oh. well i had a hard time taking it off oh, go, 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 go away maybe you didn't get it fully seated there you go heard it yeah, I didn't probably have it fully seated. It has a lock to protect you. Now, this machine has some danger with it, right? Mm -hmm. This spin at very high RPMs, two to 6,000 RPMs. And as you said, there's no protection. Right. If you accidentally put your hand here, you're going to have meat loaf. I mean, it just, mm -hmm. it will be ugly. So don't do that. Don't do that, ever. Mm -hmm. As you see now, this is unplugged. Mm -hmm. That's why I put my, my hand there. And in fact, if there was a blade here, you can still cut yourself with the machine off. They're very sharp blades. Right now we don't have a blade sewing, so we are fairly safe. Let me see if I can move one to sew you. Without cutting myself, preferably. What's not? There it is. There it is. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. As you can see, this will give you a very nasty cut, right? Yes. This will not be pleasant. Mm -hmm. Even with it not moving right now, it's just very... It's a very sharp blade. Very sharp blade. Mm -hmm. okay. It has a what do you call this? A vacuum attachments for for uh, yeah, because dust these collection. these do produce a lot of waste from the wood when you're planting. It does. It. Yeah. On the plus side, however, they produce big chips, mm -hmm. so they you don't need to wear a mask on them because they don't make those small little uh, really fine particles. Fine particles. They generate nice big chips. In fact, remember for Christmas, in some of the Christmas gifts, we use those chips mm -hmm. to put yeah. us padding in the... Yeah, the cedar. In the, in the stuff we bought. It's a generally easy machine to use, right? Doesn't yeah. make much. Just the, keeping it even is important. Right, so you, you start here. And you put pressure in the front, right? And as you move, let me make sure I don't have blades and I don't. And as you move, right now, it will catch on us because, well, now I have it even. I have it at zero. So it won't catch, right? So let me show it catching. So as you see, because I have it at zero now, I can push it through. It doesn't catch because there's nothing to catch. But if I move the... If I move the rear plate, this now should catch. See, I cannot press it. 
Okay. And you hear it, the catching, right? I mean, you hear the sound? And if you have it on full extension, I don't, it will be easier and easier to catch, right? Okay. So the danger with that is once you start, you need to be careful not to do this business. Right, because that'll create divots and... It, and it's actually gaps. called chatter, the technical term. I don't know why, okay. but they anyway, call it chatter, right? I don't know why it's called that. I've never heard it. You have, but it'll create uneven surfaces on your... And actually, piece. it creates a... What do you call it, Mrs. Wizard? A, a you saw it. We did a mistake a one. Dip. Right, it, it is very weird looking, mm -hmm. very unsettling, very unhappy look on your wood, right? Okay. I, like everyone, I really like the tool. I do not anticipate you have any problems. None of our wind tools have ever failed us. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty confident that this will not has fail a nice us weight to it too. I mean, it yeah, doesn't it, it, feel like it's too lightweight. It has a good weight to it, it without being it, heavy. It feels really good, right? So there's not much to this tool. As I say, we have a depth mm -hmm. selector. We have a, an Allen key to change the blades when they go back, and we have a foot. That's about it. It's a pretty uh, basic machine, but it can be very dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. This is a machine you don't play with. You need to be very, very careful. But when you use it, it can be invaluable. Yep. It is one of the best machines that we have used. All right. So as always, we're going to give you uh, our opinion now, and for me, Specifically because we have WEN tools, I have no hesitation recommending this tool, right? So I will give it a thumbs up or five thumbs up as the case mm -hmm. may be. You have five thumbs? <laughs> no, but I have four. Uh, again, I would be very surprised if this fails us. We have never had a value on a WEN, right? Right, so far they've been, been very, very good. very pleased mm -hmm. with, with WEN equipment. Mm -hmm. What? Knocked on wood. All right. If it does, of course, we're going to come back and talk to you about that because we we keep it all legit. We did not receive this for free. I know you sometimes we tell you when we get free things. Mm -hmm. uh, Elpida bought that for us, or Santa Elpida bought it. I don't know who mm -hmm. bought it, but I didn't buy it, but <laughs> we paid, someone paid for it. Right. It, it was not a donation. And we do not have any relationship with Wen, but Wen, if you're listening, we're open. We, we love your tools, right? We will be happy to, to co cooperate, collaborate with you. In any case, we hope you enjoyed this. We are very pleased. We are looking forward to use this and you're going to see us using it. If you found this uh, short video useful, we'll appreciate the thumbs up. If you didn't press the other button twice, share, like, subscribe, and let us know what else you might want to watch at the Urban Homestanding channel throughout the year. From Dr. Wizard, Mrs. Wizard, Elpida, and Atlas. Hi, Atlas. Stay safe, wash your hands, get vaccinated, put your masks on, so we'll continue seeing you in the channel for years and years to come. Stay safe, friends, and Happy New Year.